Welcome, welcome, in this video we will discuss whether or not the battleship Yamato was a mistake or not, or rather was it any worth making the ship in the first place. I believe all of you watching this know that Yamato was the heaviest ship ever made with around 72,000 tons. Well, if you didn't know, now you do. How the fuck did that even float? Uh, just kidding. Uh, so let's begin. It is needless to say that a lot of money went into making that ship including all the materials wasted on it for it to just, at the end, finish at the bottom of the sea. Twice. Cause, you know, Yamato had a sister ship named Musashi, that also sunk. Actually, if we take into the consideration Shinano, a carrier built on Yamato glass base, which was also sunk, we have three sunk ships with lots of time, money and materials wasted on. As for materials, around 23,000 tons went into its big, juicy um, armor, uh, which is quite a lot for a single ship. And also four shipyards, where the ships were to be made, Fort One never finished, were all had to be modernized to be able to make them. So a lot of money went into that as well. But at least they were modernized for future standards, so we can't really say it was wasted. It would happen sometime into the future anyway. However, what was important for Yamato is technology that went into creating the big guns of 460mm mounted on it. Those were massive and had really good penetration and were re very good guns in general, with very thick armor on their turrets. 650mm stick to be exact. Well, for those guns you had to make ammo, and those rounds were obviously big. Of course, those new guns also had a new fire control system specially made for Yamato. It was also required to improve metallurgical technology in order to make thicker armor for those ships. Was that kind of equipment ever used again to make any steel that thick in Japan is something I don't know so I can't really tell if that was a waste of time and money or not, but whatever. Yamato also had roughly around 4200 tons of fuel, which is a lot, lot of fuel. We also need to understand the idea that went behind the Yamato class ships. Japan wanted something that would give them any kind of the advantage over US fleet so they decided to make something more powerful than what their enemy had. So the only way was to make a ship that would surpass any previous ship, with best armor and best armament, but trying to keep it to their possible manufacturing standards. And at the end they made those ships, believing little to nothing could stop them. And to this day no ship was made with better armor and larger guns, so that was some achievement. Of course, anyone would think that that kind of ship would bring terror to the enemy. I mean, of course it did. I always wanted to sink those ships more than anything else. But at the end, those ships didn't do anything remarkable that something of a smaller size wouldn't be capable of doing. I mean, for one Yamato you could make two Nagato ships that weren't that worse in armament and armor and two ships are easier to strategically use than one big one. The main problem with big ships is that they are easy target. So the bigger the ship is, the easier it can be hit by the enemy ship or bombed by the planes. But of course Yamato having that thick armor meant that rarely any ship could penetrate it, which was the main focus for the Japanese. And with those ships died thousands of crew members that were on them. Not the exact numbers are known since it varies depending on the source. But regardless of exact numbers, a lot of men died. So in conclusion, ships as ships were the mistake, but an intentional one, since having best armor and armament you would think that that absolute unit of a ship would actually do something worth noting. But no one expected them all to end up destroyed. But they taught everyone a valuable lesson, and that is to not make anything that big that can just at some moment 
end up at the bottom of the sea. With that lesson learned, I doubt anyone will ever break the record of heaviest, most armor shipped and biggest guns used on a battleship ever because no one wants to. With modern technology, we can make deadly ships without making them into floating cities. But at the time of the bloodiest war in human history, something like Yamato was needed for a nation that would focus a lot on naval warfare. But sadly, Yamato did not live to Japan's, or rather anyone's, expectations. So that would be all for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye. Thank you.